Hello my friends, this is Jeannie. Welcome back. If you are new to my channel, welcome. In this video, I am going to share with you a purchase that I made from Joggles.com. I like to shop at Joggles mainly because they have a lot of Art by Marlene in stock. If you're not familiar with Art by Marlene, it is a collection of stamps and beautifully illustrated and colored die cuts in a book form. I'm sure she has other products. I wouldn't doubt that she has other products, but what I am drawn to are the die cut books. I love, love, love her die cut, die cut books because they are beautifully illustrated. The colors are vibrant. The images are just happy and just so unique. And it is such an easy way to create elements in your journals, in your cards, on your tags. Um, super quick and without really much effort. So let me share with you what I purchased because in addition to getting the two new die um, cut books that were released by Art by Marlene, I picked up some other products while I was there because, you know, of course, you can't just, you know, you go in for one, you come out with a bunch. Story of my life. <laughs> but... um I thought I would share them because they really are really, really pretty. So, as I said, she released two books. One is called Never Stop Looking Up. And what you get are these beautifully illustrated pages with these images. And all of the images are perforated so that you can just pop them right out. See that? You get two of each page. So there is plenty, plenty to play with. So I will do the flip through of this first book. I love these images. How can you not be happy when you look at these? Look at this. Love, love, love. Look at this. So fun. This year, while I was um, at the website, I started looking around and I ended up picking up some rice papers as well. And I picked up a Dino Wakely um, journal. It's my first Dino Wakely journal and I'm excited about it. Um, at the same time, <laughs> a little intimidated by it because um, the papers in the book are different it has different materials. It's not all just one type of paper, like mixed media paper or, um, I'm trying to think what else, mixed media, watercoloring. It, it definitely has different textures. She has, I think, burlap, canvas, and some other papers. I will show the book to you uh, so that you can see for yourself. I have never journaled in anything like that. I've only ever journaled on either watercolor paper, mixed media paper, or um, like a heavy type cardstock. So I don't know what possessed me to get this journal other than it looked really interesting to me. And I'm really going to have to work up the courage to, to break it and um, start illustrating in it because it's absolutely, it's beautiful. But you know, it's not enough to be beautiful. It has to be practical and useful. So let's see what I can do with it. This is her second book. It's called A Bit of Quark. And the illustrations here are equally as beautiful as the first book. Look at this. How fun are these? I love using her die cuts in my journals. I don't know how long she's been around. She's new to me, relatively speaking. The first time I purchased from her collection, I think was last year, when I purchased the two die cut books that she released last year. I came across them just accidentally while I was browsing Joggles. And it's because Joggles 
has so much art by Marlene that I, I learned about this particular artist. And now, anytime I think of joggles, I tend to think art by Marlene because that's where I buy my art by Marlene products. Funny how that worked out, right? These images are awesome. So those are the two books from this year. Last year, as I said, she had two other releases. And just so that, you know, I can, I, I'm going to show you that I practice what I preach. I'm going to show you a page. I'm pretty sure I have a page in at least this book. Yes, here's a page in my art journal book. And this is a page that um, I use her die cuts on. So the owl is from her die cut book from last year. So are the clouds and maybe the little birdhouse. I think the little birdhouse too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the little birdhouse too. So proof positive that you can take her die cuts and make some pretty awesome, whimsical, colorful, bright, cheerful <laughs> uh, images or layouts in your journals so just wanted to share that with you okay i also while i was browsing joggles ended up picking up quite a few sheets of the rice paper rice paper is absolutely gorgeous 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 and again wonderful for creating quick pages in your book and they are just absolutely gorgeous and so fun to work with they make amazing illustrations for covers for journals or you can just frame these and hang them aren't they beautiful love these I'm thinking I might have to make a soft journal cover for the first time ever for me using one of these. Look at this one. My goodness. That is gorgeous. Beautiful. Can't go wrong. So I hope everyone is having a fantastic week. Today is Thursday. Yes, yes, yes. I found some time on a Thursday night to get into my craft room. Not necessarily to craft, but to film some videos where I share with you some of my purchases. I also bought these, these uh, two stencils. Aren't they gorgeous? They are huge, which I love because I need bigger stencils for my bigger, this is my biggest journal that I have. And I find my stencils, most of the stencils I have are either six by six or eight by eight. Nothing that can cover an entire page of um, this particular journal. So this I think is going to be awesome. I can't wait to play with these. So I got one, do these have names? This one is called Mother's Garden. It's beautiful, beautiful flowers. And then this one is called Drizzled. Look like roses to me. And this is an Elizabeth St. Hilaire design. So fun. So I'm very much looking forward playing with those I also picked up I didn't even know that they sold this um, I was just uh, looking around the website and found that I, I'm pretty sure I got this from her she also had some laces so I picked up uh, a few yards of different type laces I picked up this one love that isn't that pretty I also 
this actually, yeah, this is a little wider. Isn't that gorgeous? It's beautiful. Definitely look at the flower. For a minute there, I thought I saw a flower, right? It's like one of those, oh, I can't think of, what do they call? Those ink blot type <laughs> paintings or illustrations where everybody looks at them and you see something different. For a second, when I looked at that lace, I thought I saw flowers, but then second look, the flowers weren't there. <laughs> Here's another. Isn't this beautiful? Gorgeous. So that's the lace. I picked up some decorative papers by Prima. You get six sheets. I didn't even, I honestly didn't even realize that you got that many sheets of paper in the one package. But, and it's huge. I think it's, what did it say? 27.5 inches by 19.7 inches. That is huge. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to be able to get it all in um, frame here, but isn't it you? Oh my gosh, guys, it's really big. <laughs> and I got six sheets of this. Goodness gracious, I'm going to have to send this off as some happy mail to someone because, um, wow, is all I have to say. And I'm not doing a very good job. <laughs> Of sharing what it looks like here but it is big I didn't anticipate that it would be that big so I did not <laughs> it didn't set up my camera to uh, show the entire image or the entire sheet but it's absolutely gorgeous look at that isn't that gorgeous that's beautiful absolutely beautiful and plenty of it I got that one and this one. I'll take it out of the package. Six sheets. My goodness. And that, I mean, that size, you can pretty much collage those onto anything, huh? Oh my gosh, look at these. Aren't they beautiful? Wow. So we'll do it that way. Yeah, that's a smarter way of doing it. Section by section. That's the top half. That's the bottom half. Now that I figured that out, let me share with you the first one. I just did a very poor job of showing before. Got it. Goodness gracious. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. That's the bottom half. And that's the top half. Beautiful. Check that out. My goodness. I am going to have to think of something really special. To do with these because they are absolutely gorgeous I did find this gorgeous chipboard piece that I am going to use some of my metallic paints on uh, color up alter and attach to the front of a steampunk type junk journal that is beautiful love that and then last but certainly not least is the Dina Wakely uh, media journal that I talked about. 54 pages, multi-surface journal for mixed media. This one has burlap, canvas, cotton rag, watercolor paper, and craft surfaces. It's a 7.75 by 10.25 journal. And the pages are seven and a quarter by ten. So this is wow. And a little intimidating. Like I 
my gosh, burlap. Burlap. I think burlap would be fun to sew on. Might be even fun to paint. But when I saw burlap, I started thinking sewing. Or even um, embroidering, I think would work out really, really nice. Stamp an image on it and use your embroidery threads to embroider that image. How beautiful would that be? Sew buttons onto here. Oh my God. How fun is that? This is the canvas. Love the feel of this book. Absolutely love it. But again, I've never journaled in anything like this. So here's that craft. I think this would be great with metallic paints or color pencils. I think would do well on that. Some nouveau drops would be fun on this. Boy, this gets the creative juices flowing. <laughs> Absolutely flowing. So essentially that's the running theme in this book it is hardcover absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to start playing in it so that is my share my friends and again this purchase is from joggles.com I will link the site down below I am not affiliated with them in any way shape or form but as I said, or I think I said in the beginning of the video, and if you've been with me for a little while, you know that I like to share when I find shops that have good prices, that have quality products, and um, that I have a good experience with. So if you know any shops that have the type of items um, that I've shown you here today, that you would like to recommend, definitely um, name drop them down below and we can all benefit from that. Thank you my friends for dropping in. I truly do appreciate it. If you are new to my channel, this is your first time visiting me and you haven't subscribed, definitely do so. I would love to have you visit me more often. Also, if you care, please thumbs up this video and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified anytime I post a new video. Thank you my friends for watching. I do I do appreciate it more than words can truly truly express and I will catch you all in the next video. Until next time my friends. Bye bye.